the reason I love sailing is because it's really something that everyone can get involved in and something that I felt like I was always welcome to, even though I started much later than some of the racers I've been sailing with. For Hobies to other multi hulls because it's a social thing. I mean, Hobie sailors are a family. Uh, a lot of Hobie sailors spend a lot of weekends together. You know, you set up your boat on a Friday night, you race all day Saturday, you camp out Saturday night, you have a big party. Sunday morning, you try to get up and make it to the first race. Sometimes you make it, sometimes you don't. But you really get to know the folks you sail with. We're all pretty good friends. Uh, you know, it's a, a neat environment. You really know when you meet a, a Hobie sailor. I mean, it's a certain kind of person, and people really connect and, and interact in a certain way that, that you don't find in a lot of other communities. Uh, the community of Hobie Sailing is one of the strongest, best parts. You go out, you're rigging your boat, you're missing a part or something breaks and nobody sits there and says, well, they're out of the race, good. They sit there and say, hey man, how can I help? Or, you know, want to get a drink afterwards? Or, you know, when we're out in the race course and we're between races, people are throwing water bottles back and forth or, you know, just joking around with each other. And there's a lot more. We're really competitive, but at the same time, it's a good family. It's a great feeling of freedom, uh, just being out in nature. The kids love it, and uh, I like bringing them outside, being outdoors in the water. It feels good. Uh, it feels good. Sailing involves so many things. Uh, sailing uh, provides me with uh, interaction with other people. I get to teach them uh, to do something that they wind up loving doing. Uh, it's a cool sport about independence on the water. And, uh, I don't know, it's something basic about it. There's no power, there's no uh, smell of exhaust. Uh, you've got some ropes, some winches, there's no noise other than the wind in your sails and the water against your hulls. Well, Hobie sailing special. It's, uh, well, for one, you've got a catamaran, so it's a wider boat, more stable. You can pick up a lot more speed because the weight is distributed. Instead of having a heavy keel underneath you, you've got thin, light hulls skimming across the top of the water. We use bigger sails than most monohulls our size. Uh, it's just all about speed and acceleration. I think I'd be happy doing anything out in the water. Uh, it's peaceful, but you can really appreciate the power of nature at the same time. It's like flying. The feeling is incredible. It's awesome. Any sailor would tell you that probably the best part of sailing is just when you ease off a reach, just starting in on a broad reach. Especially true of Hobies, the boat starts to hum, 
Uh, you move your weight back, it really, it's really just an amazingly fast feeling. The reaching is probably the best because you can attain the highest speeds and uh, with a degree of uh, the safety from capsizing. You know, you can always bear off and go dead downwind. Where you're going into the wind, there's a little more gray areas. <laughs> Screaming broad reach on the ocean, 20 foot seas, surfing 15 knots on a boat with a hull speed of 9 knots. I don't get to do this a lot. Realize the wind's kicking up, and you know, you realize you have to go a little bit faster. You sheet in, your arms are burning because you've been sailing all day. And you sheet in, you, you set everything just right, and you're out there in the trap, and you're leaning as far back as you can get. And you think, God, but you sit there, and you just keep on holding that spot. And it's right there, right there on the edge, when you know you have it, but you can lose it at any second. That's by far my favorite, my favorite time. I enjoy the speed. I like getting from uh, point A to point B, and even a novice sailor can sail faster on a Hobie Cat than most other boats like lasers, for example. And I just enjoy getting around a little bit faster. Uh, I'm not really one for the slow pace. I don't drive slow, I don't sail slow. <laughs> Uh, sailing 18 solo is a, is a great challenge because the boat is built for two. You have two sails that you need to trim constantly, as well as the main traveler, which is really three lines, and plus steering the boat. I enjoy sailing with a crew as well as by myself, and there's just a little bit of a, a different kind of challenge racing by yourself. The challenge of predicting the wind and working with the water and uh, you know like looking out and, and seeing where the caps are and seeing where it's swirling and maneuvering around uh, it, it's kind of like like playing chess only you're out there with the elements dealing with it in the moment and it's, it's a vitally important decision that you make sailing is natural uh, you're out in the breeze you're using your brains and the wind and the sails and uh, you'll learn how to do whatever you want. You're not depending on a, uh, on a machine or an engine or something. Uh, you're using your head. And uh, you can go this direction, you can go that direction. You, if you want to go straight into the wind, you apply a little bit of strategy. Uh, you can compete with uh, other people to see who's, uh, who's sailing the smartest. And um, it just uh, encompasses a lot. I, I really enjoy that. There was a great sailor, Paul Elstrom, said, never let the guy who beat you feel glad that he beat you, and never let the guy that you beat feel bad that you beat him, uh, which is a really kind of cool philosophy. In other words, never pout when you lose, and never gloat when you win, because sailing's about people and about fun, and about a sport that 
most of the people who do it really love passionately. So to get out and go do it is reward enough. You don't have to win all the time.